mean, why don't you see the ball today? I don't make those rules. Okay, we, we, we I looked up. I looked up, and y'all are leaving. I'm like, <laughs> I can't. I can't kill all the talk. You're not playing coy with us. No, not at all. Just you know, doing what, doing what I'm asked. Which one of you guys is playing quarterback? Me. <laughs> Mike has got it. I just gotta take over. They asked y'all me. Y'all start with Mike. Go ahead. Y'all start. With they Mike. asked me to step up, and you want to ask you know, the first question? Yeah, you ask the first question, Dad. Oh, no, y'all go ahead. I'll think of a good one. <laughs> Michael, will it hurt your feelings if the first 20 questions are for Dak? Yeah. Because I, I, I got about five before I hit this lunch break. And I got to get a post-lunch nap in. So. Lions hungry. Yeah. Michael, what can you take from the Eagles game in terms of, like, what, what did that film teach you about your game and how you can respond to the coming opponents? Um, you know, I just got to own in on my craft and get better this week. Uh. I personally made self-adjustments, uh, analyzed with coaches. I sat down with them on things that I could do to be better and how I could fix my game. And um, this week, you know, I'm just looking to hush everything up, you know. Did they scheme and, and try to come at you? Honestly, I, if you know football, I mean, they didn't really try to come after me. You know, there's – I mean, if you look at their offense, I mean, you can say they scheme everyone. They run an RPO offense. Everything's read option. You got to – worry about hurts like he's a he's a problem and when you have problems in the league you got to focus focus on them so I mean in the most simple way is in my eyes I did my job you know and you can't control trying to do everything on the field that leads to frustration and miscommunication so you just got to do your job out there and you know uh, you know it's a big game last week and sometimes you're trying to make the big play and things like that and you know things can get uh, jammed up, so we just got to clean up and just be back to the details. You talk so much about your versatility, how much you love the back in the game, but you've been rushing so much this season. But we saw you drop some, felt like maybe mm -hmm. a little more this week. Are you still loving doing both, or are you wanting to do one more than the other? Or how are you? Yeah, I'm still going for my interception. I need my interception for sure. I'm still doing both. Uh, you know, the uh, the more I can do, and the more because it's all about creating uh, matchups and. It's all about create, as a defensive mindset, we try to create mismatches, we try to create openings, um, and we just try to take advantage. And if that advantage is me showing up like I'm coming and they slide the front, next thing you know, someone got a one-on-one -on, -one on the backside, then we like that matchup, you know. And uh, the guys we have on our team, that's what, that's what we like. So, um, and that means I'm dropping back and, you know, into the curl and reading and reacting. I mean, that's what I got to do. Or if that's me dealing with a double team and I'm looping, or, you know, just as a defensive mindset, you just love versatility, you know, and like moving things around. The more you can do, the more we can open up the playbook and the more fun and creative it gets. And I know uh, talking to DQ, I mean, we have a bunch of stuff that we draw up every week. How are you and everyone on this defense have such a high standard and expectations of, of what you are now and what you can become? Getting right back out there and making a statement this week going forward to show that last game was an outlier. How much of a, a motivation is that? Um, you know, we just emphasize Shark Week, you know. That's what we emphasize this week. No matter where you at, we're going to go out there and, you know, no matter what what's out there, you're going to be the You know what I'm saying? So that's what we emphasize this week. And, uh, you know, we just got to go do it. Next thing you know, it's just execution. Still kicking yourself over that drive. That you got Get the time to 2017, y'all give up that drive. Is that, I know DQ said, you know, Monday there was a lot of regret. Mm. Uh, sheesh. I mean, anytime a team go down and score, uh, you know, and the way they did it, I mean, of course that stings, but you learn from those, you know. Uh, maybe it's something that I could have done better. Maybe some, someone else could have done better, you know, or we could have all done better. I mean, you got to learn from them. You got to adjust, and that's the beauty of it. We get this week to prove, and, uh, you know, show what we learned. How healthy are you? I mean, I saw you doing that, that sprint with, you know, the special teams. I mean, obviously you've been labored with the groin the last couple of weeks. Clearly you, you, you must be healthy <laughs> if you're doing that sprint. I'm super healthy, man. I'm just uh, I'm just happy to be back in the building full time and just playing and not having to worry about nothing. What do you see from this uh, Lions run game? Uh, I see, I mean, I think they got a great front. I mean, all the way around a dominant run game. They got a great group of backs. Uh, you know, we got to go out there and just try to um, stop the run and, you know, be be resilient out there. How competitive? I know you get competitive about everything, but the ball get off period? Especially I take them very seriously. I, I won the belt last year, and because of my sickness, I missed one week, and then my growing, I missed another week, and 
I'm, I'm definitely down in the score chart right now, so I'm just trying to get back in my movements. I just lost today. Yeah, look, Bale got so, you today. Yeah, I lost today. I think I came in about second or third, so it's starting to get serious. You know, I got to really lock back in. I got to lock back in. I think I'm going to start doing some get-offs before and stuff like that to make sure I'm nice and warmed up. I think that's what I did last year, you know. That's because I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Every aspect of yes. life. How yes. much does that fuel you? You said yes. yes. How much does that fuel you, though? Like, if you think, has that made a difference in your life? Um, you know, I would just say uh, my brothers and sisters used to just jump on me. And uh, I remember I was smaller than them. Now I'm bigger than them, man. Uh, we used to always play basketball. We had one of them basketball hoops. And they used to block my shot. I used to start crying. They was like, they blocking my shot. It's not fair. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I was just like, man, I'm going to just beat y'all one day. And, uh. You know, and that stuff just made me just get so much better. And I think if you challenge yourself, instead of looking at failure and be like, yeah, I don't want to do this no more, and you just take the failure and say, man, I'm going to be good at this. Like, I got to get better at this. Then, you know, it's just I think you just grow from it, and you just get better, and then you just learn to add that to everything you do in life. When Mike, uh, when, what does this guy mean to this team? Oh, uh, man, I told you, and I, I say it all the time to other people, I mean, you know, he's a heartbeat, you know, um, in terms of leadership and – you know, doing things the right way. Um, like I said, pre-post, pre-injury, first guy in here, doing rehab. I mean, working out when he doesn't have to work. I mean, he works out with his guy every day. Post-injury, still doing the same things, just, you know, habits and just, you know, routine. I mean, you know, I think uh, he does everything when no one's looking. I mean, the way he works out, he does above and beyond in his workouts. I think when he comes out to practice, when we coming out on special team, he's his – Hoodies is already fully in sweat. Like he's already did a full workout before he even come out to practice. So, I mean, you just take those type of things and you look at like just that leadership and type of guy that uh, you got playing with you. Like, nah, I know he got my back. You know, so. And I was telling him uh, he 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 uh, he works too hard and he deserves everything he got. But uh, I'm gonna get him for everything he got. You know. And, I, <laughs> and when he came out today, when he was in two minutes, I said, Oh yeah, welcome back to the. Yo, this is it. This is mine. I, I told him, I said, I said, just because you come back, I don't mean nothing's going to change around this here. I said, this is our right here. So, uh, and that's just the mentality that we run with. So, Michael, what kind of growth have you seen in Dak within these last few weeks? And how how different is it going to be seeing him from the sidelines and then back in that starting position this week? Damn. I say the big difference is I ain't going to be able to come to him on the sideline when I'm talking when I say he's going to be running out there on the field. But, you know, we're going to get a small dap up, and I'm going to, uh, you know, it's going to be so much fun seeing it back out there. I know uh, real competitors, they itch to get back on the field, and I think that's why his rehab was so uh, intense. I, I never see him take a day off. So um, I know he's itching to be out there, and I just can't wait to see his work pay off for him. And that just goes for anybody, really, you know. Um, when you just put the work in. You just, you just love to see the results because the process, the process. All right, I appreciate it. Right. We'll get you